hello everyone so it has been uh, some time since uh, we have made a uh, raspberry pi video now uh, what i wanted to show is a little bit of setup the uh, changes that you can see here now i am running uh, twister os here and this is a small setup as you can see i have uh, this uh, a small uh, a keyboard here for which I can control my Raspberry Pi and basically just uh, do a little bit of stuff so now uh, this is just recently I have set it up uh, so that I can uh, you know uh, do small task and small uh, uh, things a uh, little experiment that I'm doing nowadays with uh, different different devices this I uh, would uh, you know usually do uh, with this kind of a setup so first thing first is this a desktop setup no so, uh, this is something that uh, you can use for uh, uh, different applications like uh, uh, when you are putting this as uh, an IOT device somewhere and it's just running off uh, uh, you know without any monitor or anything and you just need to check up on something so in that scenario you would use this kind of a setup now I have uh, with me this uh, small little keyboard now i thought this would be not that good because it's uh you know just a small handheld but i was thinking about was a roll uh, keyboard which i could use and uh, you know full flash keyboard but uh, this works like if you're in an outside environment where you have set up a let's say uh weather monitoring station and you just want to see how much the data has been captured you can use this kind of a setup for screen i am using this android uh, mobile and uh, you can see this is uh, just an app here this is my uh, simple phone and uh, on this I have an app which I am recording uh, sorry capturing the USB uh, cam and uh, here I'm capturing this footage through uh, uh, video capture which you can see right here so let's just uh, quickly you know I'll just reset it up and show you what exactly I have done so this is the entire setup so you can see that this is the Raspberry Pi itself and you can see now I'm using my old case however I have a, you know just crudely made a hole for my fan here I have screwed it on and this is a, basically my old raspberry pi 3b plus now today you know a lot of people are using their raspberry pi 4 however i do not uh, uh, well it's a very good device but right now i don't feel that i need to change or upgrade it so uh, the few things that i have did change in my raspberry pi here you can see is that uh, i have uh, this heat sink here colorful heat sink and uh, other than that I have uh, this one this is uh, I am very proud of it uh, has a, a copper heat sink which uh, has a logo of the raspberry pi and just below the fan I have uh, another heat sink you can see a copper heat sink right here so this is my entire setup I am using a simple fan and uh, this uh, old uh, transparent case with uh, that which give me access to all the GPIOs now for my use cases uh, the Raspberry Pi 3B plus is good enough so I do not need to upgrade to an Raspberry Pi 4 however it is a pretty awesome device uh, Raspberry Pi 4 and that is uh, you know good if uh, you are buying something new so other than that uh, to get this setup, I have uh, obviously the keyboard. It is a USB a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, this is battery, and this uh, little dongle just sits over here. Uh, what you can usually do is just take it out, put it in the Raspberry Pi, and close it up. The keyboard is ready to use. You can just use this button turn it on and whatever input you do you can do from here so it is a full keyboard it has a 
our touch screen sorry uh, the touch pad here and uh, good functionalities now to capture a uh, video from my raspberry pi to any device i need a video converter so this is a video capture device that i'm using it has a uh, full hdmi input and it's giving me usb video out so this is a cool little device that i'm using for this purpose now what i usually do is since my uh, raspberry pi 3 has a full uh, hdmi i just use the full hdmi mail to mail connector now this is another advantage of using a raspberry pi 3 is you have a full hdmi as you know on raspberry pi for you have micro HDMI so you can just uh, use a simple any cable I have this uh, uh, cheap uh, USB cable sorry uh, HDMI cable I just plugged it in and now I just set it up here and the other end of the USB cable I'll just plug it into this uh, capture device so here input and this is uh, the other end what this will do is that it will uh, transfer like any like earlier i had a monitor setup so uh, i could just use this cable to you know uh, capture the video and get the video from the raspberry pi to the monitor now the video is going into this device the video capture device first and here it's converting it into a usb signal so i have this uh, small little dongle which i use to you know connect uh, this capture device to an uh, type C connector so this I can easily plug into my phone yeah so now I can capture the video and I just display on my uh, phone screen and uh, for this I am using USB camera app this is a simple uh, webcam app and you can just use it for capturing any uh, video right now i don't have this uh, plugged in so that's why it's not showing me anything however i can just uh, take the power and I put it in and let's see what happens so as you can see i have plugged in the power and it's uh, immediately giving me the signals so now it's putting into twister os so uh, twister os uh, like uh, as you might know is for mostly uh, raspberry pi 4 however you can use it for raspberry pi 3 it does have some limitations but uh, overall i found it to be you know a good uh, operating software to use even on the raspberry pi 3 as you can see we have booted into uh, the uh, twister os and I just turn on the uh, keyboard and you can see that I can easily uh, use this as a mouse and a keyboard and I can uh, technically just put anything to use as you can see I have just launched LibreOffice on the Twister OS on the Raspberry Pi 3 now Twister OS on Raspberry Pi 3 runs smooth uh, as you can see it uh, does have little limitations because of uh, uh, what you say your uh, uh, RAM and all but uh, other than that it's pretty uh, straightforward and uh, this thing runs pretty well so finally let me just show you a little bit more about what I am doing so like I said that uh, this is not a uh, what do you say a uh, desktop setup what i'm usually using it for is a, a remote thing like i can have this uh, small cheap uh, power bank and i can basically just uh, uh, use any usb type c uh, sorry usb micro usb uh, to power this up with this cable i am just putting it into the out uh, uh, port and uh, this i can then use to power my raspberry pi and uh, other than that uh, i have this uh, small uh, female usb to male usb this i can again use to extend my 
range as you can see here instead of uh, putting it like that I can uh, again uh, do this and this so the Raspberry Pi then the HDMI cable which will go into the HDMI socket and this is going into the video capture then my USB cable and lastly my USB to USB-C now this is a long setup if you need that uh, kind of a range like if you have uh, uh, this thing on a pole and it's just sitting there with uh, a battery attached so this thing uh, is again a good uh, setup again one more thing I wanted to try was use this solar panels so I bought this cheap solar panels so the idea was that this will power my charging here and uh, the solar panel will charge the power bank and the power bank will give power to my Raspberry Pi but unfortunately these uh, uh, solar panels are not up to the mark they are not that good uh, for this purpose and they are not giving me enough power so I think I will visit that in the future but uh, uh, so even this uh, power bank sometimes it uh, uh, doesn't give me that enough power to actually uh, you know run a good uh, operating system on my Raspberry Pi but uh, it does a decent job sometimes so like as you can see instead of uh, giving power from my charger like if I have it set up on let's say a pole or something I can just power it from uh, this uh, power bank now the power bank is giving power to my Raspberry Pi and uh, uh, this in itself will run on some script and uh, it can be you know sitting on some pole or some tree and uh, that could be either monitoring your uh, weather or your pollution levels or anything on that so as you can see sometimes uh, this is not giving enough power to the Pi because I think I haven't charged it enough so but in a good power bank scenario you can definitely do that I'm still facing issues with this uh, system uh, in this setup Sorry, not the system so the system runs perfectly fine when I am using the uh, main power but earlier I was able to set up a small station uh, with that and uh, yeah so I am thinking about changing the power bank and the solar panels and then that will give me a better uh, result in the future and I can just set up a uh, mostly I want to set up a pollution station to monitor the PME uh, 2.5 and PME 10 levels so as you can see uh, that thing is still in progress but running with power is uh, working I have it uh, on wall power so it's working perfectly fine so thank you guys thanks for watching this video if you did like it please subscribe hit that uh, like button and if you have anything you can leave a comment in the dungeon below once again thanks thank you and take care